5G is the buzzword to get people attention this day. I am OCAD. In this video, I will detail why 5G will not change the way you live and why every telecommunication company will tell you different. So listen up. The biggest proponent of 5G is that you have crazy fast internet, like 10 times faster, so that you can do your video conferencing in 4K on your phone. My response is, you don't need 4K video call on your phone. Your girlfriend doesn't appreciate that you can see all of her pores and she looking at your acne. Also, think about your phone battery. How many 4K phone calls can your phone handle with that much data? Also, look at your phone screen and how small it is. 4K and Full HD makes no difference. And if you are using something with a bigger screen, you can use Wi-Fi, which is just as fast as 5G. Besides that, I really can't think of anything that you can do with 5G that will change the world. And I have really thought about it. Last year, I was in a smart home 5G hackathon in Hong Kong, a place where data plans are traditionally cheap because of competition. And Hong Kong is usually one of the first adopters of new telecommunication tech because it is so densely populated. So in the hackathon, we're supposed to come up with an idea that requires 5G. My team quit on me because we couldn't think of a tech that necessarily used 5G. We we're all thinking the only tech that can truly benefit would be some sort of emergency medical tech where the doctor or the emergency worker can see what is happening in the patients, inside the patient with some sort of scanner, right? So what's worse is that the winning team of that competition didn't pitch an idea that requires 5G either. They made an AR app that allows people to wear the special t-shirt to show different 3D logo on the shirt. So that doesn't need 5G. I repeat, a room full of programmers and entrepreneurs, and that's the best use for 5G. That hackathon actually give you 1,000 US dollars per winning team members. Also, think about it. When you're transferring that much data, you still need a server to support to upload all that data to your phone. So in other words, you need new infrastructure. And if everybody don't upgrade to a bigger and faster server, you will end up with your 4G speed. So, why do so many companies keep on selling you on this 5G? Because the phone that you own, well, most of the people who are listening anyway, can't handle 5G. Nowadays, phone lasts a long time. Some can even last more than three years. The quality is actually getting better. It's only the battery that needs to be replaced. So if you never change your phone, how can your network company make more money and sell you a better, more expensive data plan? How can Samsung and Apple convince you to spend like a couple of weeks of salary on that new smartphone that is 5G ready, but has nothing else? Not any upgrade that you need anyway. In conclusion, don't buy into the hype. 5G will change your life as much as that hideous notch on the iPhone. Did it change your life? Alright guys, this is a fast video. Subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. And please remember, give first.